Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Mark, and today I'm going to show you a really useful object called SF Play. What SF Play allows you to do is it allows you to play sound files on your computer. So, and I'll show you in a second. We you can open files and play them, play them back, just like a, a CD player essentially. So, how SF Play works is you got to send it a message first and one message you send it is open to open a file another message you send it is uh, one one is to play and guess what zero is zero is to stop so if you connect all of these into SF play once you get hooked up you can open play and stop songs. So what else do you need? You need a multiply tilde and with multiply tilde what we can do with that now is change the volume of the song. So where do you go from here? Where do you, where do you change the volume? Okay now what? You got to create an easy DAC. What an easy DAC is, it's a digital analog converter. So it will uh, translate the song from digital to audio so you can hear it. Okay. So now what? Here, let's try it out and see if it works. So we can open a song. Let's try this one. Okay. Looks good. Turn the easy dac on. Now press one. Oh, we don't get anything yet. It's because we got to multiply it by something here. So here, let's uh, create a number box. And instead of just a number, actually, we're going to create a flow number. What does flow stand for? It sta stands for floating point number which is a fancy name for just a decimal number. So go ahead and create one of these and attach it to this side. Now, let's try this out. Press play. We got it now. Gets loud pretty fast there. Once you notice it gets p once it gets past one or so, it starts to peak. It doesn't sound that great. So that's that's it for creating the sound. But here, let's make this make it sound in the range we want it. So what I use is a really useful tool called uh, Slider. So we'll type in Slider, and look what comes up. Nice sliding tool where you can change. We use this to change this number. But um, as you can see, when you attach the slider to the number and change it, oh, we don't want to go all the way up to 127, do we? I don't. So what can we do to make, uh, make this smaller? Well, what I do is uh, create another object and instead of multiplying like we did over here, this time let's divide it. We're going to divide, but this time we're not going to do divide tilde because we're not dividing the sound itself. What we're doing is dividing this variable number of the slider, which isn't a sound, it's, it's, a, it's a variable. So since it goes up to 127 and we don't want to go past 1, let's divide it by 127 makes sense but not just 127 let's make it 127 dot because we're dealing with decimal numbers of course so now we hook it up and we'll hook that to there and we'll click on lock lock Ooh, look at that it goes from zero to one just how we want it so here let's play this song now let's, let's listen to it
guys like this.